Shalom, I'm giving all praises and all glory unto Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Kadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of great most that rule well, and shalom to all the Archean teaching this word with faith and truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Caleb from the GMS England line of forecasters camp back with another lesson to help edify the Lord's elect. As always, I'd like to begin by saying that we are the real Hebrew Israelites and the real Israelites, these so called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Americans, West Indians, and West Africans predominantly. However, you will find Israelites that do look like the other nations because we as a people have been scattered amongst all the nations through our various captivities. But if your seed line by your forefathers goes back to the man in the Bible that was named Israel, then you too are an Israelite no matter what you may look like because the book of Numbers 1 and verse 18 states that your nationality is determined by the lineage of your forefathers. So I'm just going to do a very quick lesson here going into a clip that was shared by the brothers in the chat. Um, this is the, uh, what do you call it? Um, is it Vice President Kamala Harris? And basically, the Most High caused her tongue to slip, which goes into the scriptures where it says they shall call, they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. I'll play the clip and I'll break it down. So let's play the clip. When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population, more of our children can breathe clean air and drink clean water. You see that she's talking about reducing population. She said it out of her own mouth. Check it again. When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population. And reduce populations. How do you expect how do you expect them to achieve that? Well, they've already been working towards that for the longest of times. And the whole um, C19 thing was a means to that end. And there's going to be other means to that end. Because that's Esau's goal, to reduce the population. Esau doesn't want a world full of people who can uh, potentially disagree, uprise and overthrow him. He wants to rule this world with as few people on the earth as possible. That's why he's working so hard to develop AI, artificial intelligence, to make a lot of these jobs automated so that you don't need as many people to work the jobs. So this is Esau's whole game plan, and she just said it out of her own mouth. Now the scriptures do say, you shall cause their tongue to fall upon themselves, if I can get that, bear with me. This is Psalm 64 and verse 8. It says, um, hide me from, I'm going to read from verse 2, read on down. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. So who are the wicked? Malachi 1 and 4 clearly states that the wicked are the Edomites, which is predominantly you so-called white people on the face of the earth. It says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows, to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privately. They say who shall see them. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. But the Most High God shall shoot at them with an arrow and suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves, and all that see them shall flee away. So that's the point, Psalm 64 and verse 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves, and all that see them shall flee away. So the secret counsel of the wicked is that they want to kill you, they want to kill your children. They want to put you all six feet under, man. They don't want you on this earth, especially if you're an Israelite, and even more so if you're an Israelite that's in this truth. Let's play it again. When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population, more of our children can breathe clean air and drink clean water. So when she's talking about our children, she ain't talking about your children. She wants you and your offspring in the ground. And she, she, she's uh, fucking um, out there riding Esau's dick to get into the position that she's in. 
she she got she got hell coming for her, man. When Yahweh Shah returns, she's gonna see what see what's up, man. Fucking race woman, pardon me, but um, just a quick hit through the spirits. So with that, giving all praises and glory unto Yahweh Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai Bar Hashem, Makakadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone at Rule Well. Shalom to all the Yaqim teaching and pushing this word around the globe with faith and truth and sincerity. And I'll catch you in the next one, Lord willing. Shalom for now. Wa ba 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 wa ka mashallah. Shalom. When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population, more of our children can breathe clean air and drink clean water.